Well, hey, I'm back for another adventure in what sold this week on eBay. This is for the second week of April 2022, and we'll start right off with this little uh, Jazzwares Sonic the Hedgehog. This guy is three inches. Three inches. Maybe there? Yeah, I like that. Maybe about right there. Three inches high, and uh, I, 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 I paid a quarter. Paid a quarter for it at the thrift store, and uh, see, I think I looked it up at the thrift store, and I was stunned because someone had sold one for fifty dollars or something. No, somebody sold one for like seventy-five. I think it was. At least it showed as seventy-five. So I think that's what I because this says best offer accepted here. So uh, I, I believe I may have had it listed for four seventy-five. If I remember correctly now. Anyway, I listed it January 14th. It sold April 9th for 50 bucks. I got $50 for a 3-inch figure, man. That I paid a quarter for. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that was that was excellent. So, next. Mindflex game. These, just, a bunch of, just a bunch of parts. Pieces and parts and all that stuff. Um, pieces are in... No, wait. Uh, yeah, so, I'm not entirely sure. This says select, so this is a variation listing. So, it was a part that sold out of here. I don't know what part, but, because I didn't put it in here. Um, specifically what piece it was. So, 50 cents, whatever it was that I paid for it. Um, June 9th. 2020 is when I listed it. I don't think I have that. I don't have this listing up anymore. So all of, all of this is gone. Pretty sure anyway. So yeah. It sold April 9th for $10.99 plus shipping. $10.99 plus shipping. I don't find too many Mindflex. I used to find Mindflex all the time. But not anymore. But then again, you know, I haven't really gone. Honestly, I haven't been thrifting in months and months and months. I, I st still have tons of stuff. I've told you this, but I, I, if I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times. I have tons of stuff, and now I'm actually, I'm actually, not going out. And I've, I've, it's, I've even managed to tell my wife, no, I'm not going. Um, when she's wanted me to go to Goodwill with her, so she doesn't go th uh, thrifting for eBay. She just goes to find stuff for herself. So let's see, yeah, so. And yeah, that was that. So we got that one next. Air International. Let's see, I had these listed for... Originally, I had them listed for, I believe... I believe I originally listed them for $19.99 a piece. And... Somebody messaged me and offered me... I don't know, five, six, seven bucks a piece for several of them and I I said no I declined and and I got one of those nasty messages you know though you'll never get that for these I can get these for this now and, and probably he can get some of them for a cheaper amount but um not mine and then I've I've actually I've actually upped the price and uh, I went through one day and just just updated all my prices just I just uh bulk changed them by 10% or something. Anyway, so 38 cents I paid for this. I bought them I bought a bunch of these books in a $5 bag lot. I bought two bags. So worked out to 38 cents a piece and uh, I listed them February 4th, 2021. This one sold April 10th for $30.99, 31 bucks plus shipping. Sweet. I'm okay with that. I'm, I, I, you know, that's a good, that's a good sale for me. Next, that, you know, for me, you know, this is a good sale. You know, three bucks is a good sale. I'll take any sale. Uh, depending on how it goes, I paid nothing for this. At least I think I paid nothing for it. It's been around here a long time. I finally got around to listing it, and uh, listed it. January 11th, it sold 
April 11th for eight dollars free shipping so ooh, I even had free shipping on that so I didn't make much on that one but that's okay yeah that was okay I'm good with that I made a couple bucks probably hey sweet here's a pair of, of jeans uh, women's boot cut size 6 I don't sell much much in the way of clothing let's see I paid nothing for them so I don't know where that came from not a clue I could have got them at a yard sale I could have got them at a clean out years ago no idea I, I just don't know anymore uh, I listed them March 2nd 2021 they sold April 12th so they took a year to sell for 15 bucks plus shipping 15 bucks plus shipping on those nice Drummond's address so that thing sat right there for a long time for a long time until I got on the bug to start listing and I just started listing everything you know and I was in here earlier this week to list I listed a stack of books and I got some more videotapes down listed them uh, some other things I got into some magazines over here old life magazines I've got two of them ready to be listed and they're in the drafts the rest of them I'm taking over to the to the uh, uh, to the shop to the to the booth so I have more I have more look magazines Saturday evening post magazines all pretty much old ones um, and I don't like listing magazines I'm not into it however I did find in in the one the one life magazine uh, mine did not have them but apparently the issue that I had I think it was from 62 I want to say 62 it had if you're familiar with post serials they used to do it they may still do it they used to do baseball cards every so often you you'd see you know somehow you got them if you'd get them in a box of cereal or what but these were inserts that they put into the magazine Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris. <laughs> if you can find that Life magazine with those two guys, you can look it up right now. You can you can go look it up. Well, when you watch the video, they might not be there anymore. But I just saw one sold for eight hundred dollars. The other one sold. There's other ones, and they sold down from that. So, you know, keep an eye on that. Um, yeah. Anyway, Drummond's addresses. Let's see. Uh, there it is. I paid nothing for this, obviously. Uh, it sat here for years. It was listed December 4th, 2021. It sold April 12th for $6.99 plus shipping. So not big, but I'm good with that. It's it's something that was here that's now at someone else's house, and I have some monies. So that's good. And I am parched tonight, sorry. Okay, that is a thing with being with with doing keto is you drink a lot of water you, you just do i will say and this is probably too, a little tmi i do have to say though i used to I, a few years ago i had this problem where i kept okay if you're squeamish close plug your ears i kept ripping my big toenails off and my little ones the pinky toes the baby toes and the big ones i in a period of like two years, I, I ripped them all off, and I ripped the big ones off twice. I, I don't know what it is, but when the when they grew back in, they were thick. They grew back in like like thicker, and then I ended up getting a fungus on on both of my big toes. So I had thick toenails on the little baby toenails, and thick toenails on the big ones. Since I went keto last year. And I've been I've been uh, I've been taking collagen, a little powdered collagen. I've been putting in my coffee and stuff. Um, so some of that, but the thickness is gone. They they look normal now. And one of them, all the ridges are off of the one big toe on, on my right. On my left, my left big toe, the toenail, the uh, it's it's just down to the, a corner, the like. The, the the ridginess is almost all gone and then the I don't know how to put it but like it like the fungus is almost gone it's just almost gone and that uh, I attrick, I attribute that directly to uh, being to going keto because it wasn't going away before so um, 
yeah so anyway that's a bonus plus i have to drink a lot of water so i have not really lost much weight in a year going on a year i mean i fluctuate up and down a little bit but but i i, I just i'm just kind of stuck so and that's fine I'm, I'm cool with it i just keep just keep doing it and and we'll see what happens i still have lots more energy hey there's an etsy sale speaking of etsy sales i have had let's see it's been four this is uh this today is actually um october 4th 5th october 5th and uh, i have had no ebay sales for four days none zero zilch nada however i had a lot of etsy sales and a lot of well not as many mercari sales but quite a few mercari, mercari sales as well so um i am really happy i am really happy that that i started cross posting that's nice silverware that's cool sold some flatware oh oneida uh, twin star the old twin star i don't know if you're familiar with them i used to sell them a lot these be really good but uh yeah no sales on the on ebay and um i am struggling with that i am really struggling with that but i'm doing good with etsy so uh, that's good and i wouldn't even have cross post to etsy if it hadn't been for this perfectly so i'm really happy um i there is should be a a uh, a link down below in the in the comments for list perfectly and uh it is an affiliate link and i just saw a thing today where i got a i got a little they sent me a little thing says i made 449 because somebody signed up through my link so that was very good if that was you thank you very much i do appreciate you doing that that's pretty cool um but uh anyway you can just go to list perfectly if you want and just sign up you don't need to use my link but i'd appreciate it um let's see but speaking of that yeah i wouldn't have i would i'd be i'd be in trouble so you know um i'm really glad that that i'm that i'm doing that because it's it's made a huge difference and if ebay sales come back around which i'm hoping that they will i'm hoping they're just they're just monkeying with the system right now and i'm hope hoping that they'll come back around and and i'll start firing on all 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 cylinders on all three platforms that i'm using that'd be great so all right, next. Boy, I kind of went off on some multiple rabbit trails there, didn't I? All right, this is an old uh, dry gas can, Christy dry gas. Antifreeze and conditioning. Some of these old cans like this, you don't don't pass them by. I mean, this one's not not massive, but some of them are pretty good. So, um, I, I forget where I got this. I think I got this at a. This is probably a property I cleaned. No, I think I got I got it at the niche. That's where I got it. I got it at the niche. I paid uh, I paid fifty cents for it, and let's see, I listed it January eighth. It sold April twelfth for fifteen bucks plus shipping. Fifteen bucks plus shipping on that. So sweet deal. I had to send that parcel select. So that's cool. That was a good sale. Next, and it was sitting in the garage, just sitting out there in the garage. So. All right, this is Valmont, China. I picked this up. I think this was uh, this is a buck fifty. I'm thinking I I don't know. I think I got it. I think I picked this up at at my neighbor's closet thrift store. Um, I'm not positive, but uh, I had this, and I think there was some other pieces, but maybe it might have just been this. I think it was just this, but uh, yeah. I listed it April 6th. It sold April 13th for $20. $19.99 plus shipping. Sweet. That was a good deal too. So, nice sale. And the last sale for the week, Dune. Frank Herbert's Dune. Uh, this is a first Putnam edition. Obviously not an actual original first edition uh, of Frank Herbert's Dune, but that would have been much, much more than what this one sold for. So... Uh, yeah, I paid a buck for it. I listed it April 3rd. It sold April 14th for $45. $44.99. Free shipping. I sent it free shipping and I did send it. Uh, I sent it priority because it's a $45 book and I don't want it to get bashed up in the media mail. So, yeah, it was cool. It was a good deal. So, okay. All together, boy, them numbers don't look right, but they probably are. I didn't sell much. Uh, $4.13 is what I paid for everything that I sold this week. 
and my gross sales were is that right two hundred and one dollars and ninety four cents pretty lame pretty lame but still pretty good sales and not not uh most of them were pretty decent pretty decent sales in there i count anything over over you know 15 bucks is pretty decent so under that as well it's not usually overwhelming 15 bucks makes me smile so all right that's it thanks for watching uh y'all have a great day keep listening take care next time i'll see you next time bye